All right, so as committed uh, way back when in, uh, at the beginning of the year, I'm going to be doing uh, monthly updates on my 2019 goals. Again, sharing this with you, one, uh, to keep myself um, focused and honest uh, with what's going on in the business and, and all the things I'm trying to get accomplished this year. And more importantly, just to hopefully inspire some of you to do the, the you know do the same thing, right? Goals are important. Uh, I sometimes think we, we spend a lot of time thinking about them, kind of communicating them, you know, but then we, we fail to kind of self-assess and, and give those updates. And hence, I'm doing this every month. This is basically the February look back, you know, recording this on February 28th. And uh, as always, it will be an honest reflection, the good and the bad. But before we get in, you know, we're trying to grow this channel. Uh, as you'll see, one of the goals is to grow the channel. So if you don't mind, you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, uh, share it with your network. Um, you know, hopefully you've seen by now, I'm just authentic and, and just trying to share what I'm doing. Um, hit that like button. Apparently one of the algorithms uh, on YouTube is uh, how early people hit that like button. Uh, all these things I'm learning I had no idea about, but uh, it's, it's always fun, interesting. And then comments. Uh, not only leave comments of motivation or feedback on my goals, uh, but know that one of the things we do on this channel are subscriber questions. So if you have a question uh, about your business, doesn't even have to be about this video, just any question you have, uh, leave it in a comment and I will do my best to get back to it uh, when I can. So when we looked at the goals, again, these are the goals taken right from 2019. They're recorded videos, so they're on record. You can go back and look at them on this channel. I think if you search goals, it'd probably be the easiest thing to do. Maybe 2019 would also work. So first, there were some family goals, health goals, goals for the buy and hold side of my business, flips, uh, had goals for this uh, YouTube channel, uh, and then some things I was looking to do extra. I'm not going to go into the details here. If you want to see why each of these are important, Go back and look at that other video. Um, here's the tracking spreadsheet. Again, right from January uh, or beginning of the year, uh, I share it with you in its raw form um, just to show where we began. Uh, and then as you'll see in momentarily, uh, you know, some of the goals have shifted and, you know, when appropriate, I've adjusted them. So uh, a couple, couple changed at the end of January, which are documented. And then I think we changed one here in uh, for March. Uh, but again, let's see what that looks like. So as of you know, exiting February, right? So I call this the March 1st update. Here we are. So again, uh, I'm going to be tracking monthly uh, and some of these things will be cumulative. Some of them are just kind of status. So uh, take at least five trips of three to four days. Um, didn't do the, any of that in February. You know, we, as you've seen, if you've been watching the channel at all, uh, we have a, a puppy uh, that's uh, 11 years old that uh, needs a little bit more care and attention and focus. Uh, and we don't want to, um, you know, turn that responsibility over to someone else. So we've we've said no to some ideas. Uh, we may take some car trips or go down south or something, but uh, nothing in February. The gym. I only went 10 times in February. Uh, I actually injured my lower back. Frankly, probably felt sorry for myself. Uh, you know, I needed probably four days off with nothing just to be mobile again. Right. It's been a couple of weeks. You know, it's still hurts, but it doesn't prevent me from doing everything. You know, I, part of these, this goal track and reporting back to you is, you know, I got to step up. Uh, maybe I couldn't do a CrossFit, you know, workout cause it's, it's, you know, a lot of, um, you know, torque and turns and, and weight, but I could have done something. I could have run. I, I could have, uh, you know, I could have found a way to get on a bike. Um, you know, I need to get off my lazy ass and you know, that goes right to the next goal, right? You know, I tweaked this from, you know, number of days in the gym to a weight. And clearly I am going the wrong way, right? I need to get serious about this goal. Um, it's pretty eye opening to see um, that, you know, lack of activity, um, you know, the metabolism, all of that of a 40 something year old is, is real, right? Uh, where I was going, you know, 20, 25, 30 days a month to a pretty high intensity and then basically take the whole month off. Um, it's tough, right? So uh, clearly if, if this is important to me, this has to see a turnaround in March uh, because it's it's getting away from me pretty quick. And um, I expect all of you to hold me to that. Uh, buying 10 buy and hold units. Um, no, nothing closed in February. However, as of yesterday, uh, we have negotiated a deal potentially for seven properties. Um, we are going to go see them next Thursday, which I think is the, I don't know, the 7th or 8th or something. Um, and 
you know, should we get that done, that will close in March and that'll take us right from zero to seven. Um, these are going to be owner finance deals. I'll tell you more about them as they come real. Uh, but there's a 60, 40 chance we get this deal done. And it's maybe 70, 30 at this point. We've done a bunch of research here in the last 48 hours. 70% meaning we're going to do it. Uh, and then there's 30%, you know, when we do our inspections, we can find something that we don't like. Um, but I feel pretty good about that. So uh, hopefully we'll see a noticeable uptick on buy and hold units. And actually, that's that does say units. We're actually going to be buying 15 units across seven properties. So we may go from zero to completed goal uh, in March, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, completed flips. Uh, we did complete one in February. We have one that should close in early March. Uh, and then one that could close right at the end of March, uh, but maybe April. Uh, I expect uh, I expect April to be our busy month. Uh, I could see four four transactions, certainly three, but maybe even four transactions closing in April. Uh, so that would be interesting. Uh, Olivia closed on her uh, first purchase. Uh, we have work starting next week, and we've already got the back unit rented. Uh, they're willing to wait for it to um, you know get completed, and and she's actually already got a buyer. Uh, I expect her first one to complete, meaning exit, uh, knock on wood, sometime in April. So uh, very excited for her. Uh, looks like we're at about 1,573. So, you know, simple math. Looks like we added about 200 people uh, in the last 28 days, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, thank you for that. Um, it's all of you that are helping me do that. Do me a favor and, again, share the channel, promote it. Uh, anything you can do to get more people out there would be great. Uh, as you see, the whole helping 100 people, that was too squishy. I kind of got there at the end of January because it's not something I could track uh, with black and white numbers. It, you know, it was, it was kind of one of those feely things, which I don't like as a goal. Uh, so I created a February 1st goal or February 1st, I created a goal to have an online course, uh, which it published. Uh, it's free. It's about 90 minutes of content. Uh, it's up on Teachable. Uh, the one thing I'm finding is uh, while Teachable is a great platform and allows you to do lots of things, um, there's no marketing, right? So all the marketing needs to be done. I think uh, I've only had two or three posts on it. And uh, I, th I want to say there's 20 students that went through it. Uh, and we're, we're, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, again, it's a 100% free course, trying to help people get started. Um, but, um, you know, that's leading to the number one, next one. And, you know, now, you know, getting feedback from the book, the course all over, you know, people are asking for more. Uh, so I've actually outlined... Um, a four pot uh, process, how a new investor can get started in a market. And I'm just going to put this all together. Uh, I just completed, you know, step one or, or section one of the course. Uh, I've got three more sections to go and uh, lots of bonus videos that I want to put in it. My suspicion is this going to be somewhere between four and six hours of content. Uh, I'm doing this under the guise of I want to put everything in at once. I'm only going to do one course, so I'm not going to do lots of them. So I'm going to put everything I can into it. And then hopefully, you know, have that be something um, that just pays for itself, right? I'll do some marketing and whatnot. I'm not trying to make any money here. Uh, I'm just trying to, um, you know, get a return on time and equipment and all this other stuff, uh, hosting fees and, and things of that nature. So um, look for that. Uh, just completed section one. I'm, I'm hoping, uh, you know, to complete at least most of that in March and, and certainly get it out in April. Uh, video production is going pretty good. Uh, I released at least one video every day in February. Uh, with most, with many days having more than one video, um, you know, so I'm proud of that. Interviews are still going strong. Uh, just completed another one this morning that was awesome. Uh, I'm very happy about that. Uh, as far as interviews go, I need, need some help from y'all. Uh, if you have anybody that you would like to hear from and you know them, go ahead and send an introductory email to them and me saying, hey, get on this guy's interview. Uh, I'd love to hear your story. So if you can help me get more interviews, that would be great. Uh, on the Amazon front, uh, the paperback obviously was published in January, and through some help um, from Color Media, we got the ebook out as well, uh, available um, on Kindle via Amazon, which was a big help. Still trying to work on the Audible version. Uh, it turns out to be, oh, I don't know, harder, uh, more complicated than you'd like. Uh, I have a friend who I'm going to try to partner with uh, who also has a book. He's going through the process now. Uh, so I'm going to hit a pause button on this, let him get through it so that I can take lessons learned and go forward. So I uh, still have every intention of doing that, assuming feedback doesn't come back that too hard, too difficult, you know, whatnot. So um, certainly plan to go there, but it's 
you know, I've spent, I don't know, 40 or 50 hours on it this month. And it's, um, it's a little complicated, a little foreign to a guy like me who's never done it. So looking to get some experience. And then finally, I want to go check out three markets. Uh, I have an idea on at least one or two that I want to get to. Uh, frankly, going to wait until it's warmer. Uh, these are these are places uh, that have snow on the ground, at least sometimes. And uh, I'm not one of those fellas that likes a whole bunch of snow. So um, this is, uh, you know, it's going to be important to me. Probably April, May. Um, going to get out to and, and may crank out a couple of cities on one tour. So uh, still excited about it. Still something I want to do. Um, but again, it's... Um, I'm not going to do it in the snow. I'm just, I don't need to be miserable. Uh, so uh, I will wait for it to warm up. So in the end, these are where I'm at. Um, you know, I'm curious, how are you doing on your 2019 goals? Are you tracking them weekly, monthly? Are you telling anybody about them? Are you being honest, right? I've, I was honest in this reflection. Uh, clearly, if my weight and, and times to the gym are important, I need to uh, I need to raise that priority and hold myself accountable. And, and um, thanks for watching. Again, do me a favor if you... Uh, uh, haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, as you'll see across most of my videos, I just tell it how it is. I don't have my arterial motive. Um, just trying to help. Uh, hit that like button and as always, leave a comment about this video wanting to motivate me or push me or make fun of me. Uh, or if you have a question that you would like answered, uh, leave it in a comment and I will try to make a video called Subscriber Questions. All right, have a great day. Thanks.